guys. So, Black Widow has finally came out and I've been actually excited to see the movie since I first saw the trailer, which was last year, before, actually when everything got shut down for COVID. And I, I've seen it. I saw it um, yesterday morning. But, um, for free, I saw it yesterday without paying a dime. And they have some good fights. They really do. Um, I'm gonna try posting one of the fights today. No promises because YouTube takes down some of my shit and it pisses me off. And then I am the one who has to delete the video. So, you know. Now, the war. The war has changed a lot since the eight months ago where it ended. I changed it. I changed the new... I changed the new, um... I, it's different. The show's different. It develops a change where Peter has risen from the dead, has to defuse multiple um, microwatic diffusers in order to stay alive. And he has to find his way to try to find out where Mikhail is and to find out if she's actually dead or alive. And she is mentioned in the trailer. In season one, episode three. Well, episode two is the inappropriate episode. Yeah, that was the episode. That's the episode I was warning everyone about. Uh -huh. So, um, my new song. I have confirmed that I'm work I've been working on a song for about a month now. Um I've been working since June. It's called um it's um it's revolving around my past. Um the song's about how I am not the song comes out today. It comes out tonight at midnight. Um but um it talks about how I'm done running from my past because that's what I've been trying to do. That's the whole reason we have the fire music video. I've been trying to... My life back then wasn't all glitz and glams. My life was nothing but terrorist and treacherous and scary. Every day when I came home from school, the after school program, I was terrified. Um, because this man, um, is abusive. And I didn't know because he flung me to a freaking chair. My back broke the damn chair. You look at it and break my freaking back. You look at it, I have a strong back. And you look at that. I, what you see, the thing is, is when I got. Give me a minute, I just pinched my back. When I was flying to the chair, physically really hard. You have to take it from my perspective because it happened to me, so whatever I said, it's whatever I say, because it's true, it didn't even hurt. I was shocked. That's why I was in tears. That, was, that day, I was in paralyzed with shock. I didn't know what the hell was going on. I'm surprised nobody did a damn thing about it. Cause I remember that day like it was yesterday. And uh, that's why I came up with Die. Die talks about you made me want to die. Talks about you make me want to die. You make me want to kill myself because you're abusive, you're rude, you're disrespectful, you have no empathy for no one, all you care is about yourself, you took control of someone's apartment, took control over their TV, 
the thing and you act like it and you follow them to the freaking new house in Binghamton and then it's like you're replacing my father which I've never even met him so bitch how do you think you could ever replace my father because bitch if you think you're replacing him you're sadly mistaken because I've been playing in my revenge war preach Oh yeah, I have a blanket around me because I have a fan right here and um, I'm cold. It's really cold in here. So, yeah. I'm a little warm. I'm half warm and half cold. <sighs> Just choked. Anyways, so... I spoke about him a little bit in fire, the, the part where this little whore fucked up my life, that was your clue, because he's like, because he took control over my life, which is why I have decided that I have thoughts about jumping out of school, because now they're making me feel like I'm being controlled. I. Do not follow no one's orders, bitch. Please. No one who controls me. And in one of my songs, I'm like, nobody controls it. I think it was fun. I think in fire, I said, nobody controls this bitch. Ding dong, I'm the bitch. Whoa. You know, I've been planning my revenge for so long and I kind of warned everyone in my family that you know you're not going to stop me eventually if I see him in the streets it's bound to happen and you're not going to expect me to act like I'm just going to stand there and just not do anything while he flung into a chair and possibly put the mark on my eye so you're not going to just you know, I'm not just going to stand there and do nothing I'm gonna take action. I'm gonna be the bitch. You're lucky it's not Noah. Because Noah c crossed the line. And I will beat his ass too. But I'm not going to. This is a pussy. And. I don't feel like it. It's too much work. But I would love to beat this grown man's ass. Because he's also. I. A dear little bitch, I ain't fucking with you. You little, you little dumbass bitch, I ain't fucking with you. You see, the thing what people think that I've changed so far as a child to a teenager is way far off. Actually, I haven't changed much. If you pay attention, that darker little whore that that so snapped his fingers, kissing the bag, and that um was just being sassy in general he never left there are just parts that came so there are parts that stayed and there are parts that came I don't know how to explain it but I haven't changed much I changed it I it's complicated it's actually I'm the one who changed myself. I felt like I wasn't good enough for everyone because I was depressed. After this woman died in my family, I was depressed. So I felt like I needed to be someone who could be more independent. So that's the road I took. I became more different and I changed myself. Puberty had nothing to do with it. This is another, another thing that happened. Well, also being abused, but there's one other thing that happened that I will reveal when I'm 20 years old. I'm not going to reveal it until I'm 20 or, or at least until I'm an adult. The timing's not right. That's the right time when I'm an adult. That will be the right time.
Kayla Smith will not return for the war. So if she, if Michaela's alive, then it will reveal to that where she is. She's dead, then she's dead. And I'm pretty sure, I don't know. I have no idea. Whatever songs in the war. I have no idea. I would get some dumb. I would get some dumb. my book. Is it downstairs? No, it's right there. They have a pencil in here. I'll finish writing the lyrics in a minute. And then I'll record the song later. <sighs> so, um, originally, um, me and Kill shot The Crash episode 5. But that episode is postponed. Um, the show wasn't good enough, the episode wasn't good enough, so I had to put, um, cancel that part, the whole entire episode plot, post when it, the plot in the episode was when Jake had to run away from, Jake and Alex had to run away from Jeff and his army, and knowing Jake, Jake jumped off a freaking this freaking Time Lords, and jumped into a pond that had a very bad current that had his power source in it where he got his powers from that is actually where he got his powers from he got his powers from every river source there is and um it changed his hair back to the way it was so when his so when jake's hair gets wet his hair turns like this Well, I have a part in Behind the Scenes and Kill Us Smith Summer Song music, slash music video on her on Eric TV 1967. Maybe. Maybe. I asked her if she wanted help. Because I've been doing it for two years and I know how to say candle. Candle? What the fuck? Candle? See, my mind's everywhere right now. Camera, I know how to set a camera at the right angle. And, and set the music over so you can hear both the lyrics and the background music. That's how I've been doing it. And I don't always do it the right way, but it still ends up the right way. And I'm about to see if I can do a, a movie up to 30 minutes. That would declare if in the show's three and the work it's sent to may be postponed until the work is I have no idea. Well, this is the video. Um, yeah. I hope you guys liked it. And I will see you guys in the next adventure. Peace.